Hi guys, just got back from my year day hunting trip to the north part of Sweden and I got a package. A new range finder. <coughs> Let's see if I can open this without using violence. Not even gonna try. There we go. So, what's this you might ask? It's the Leica Range Master 2000 B. So, obviously, you get a manual, which is fairly thick. I'm guessing this is, yeah, four different languages. Still pretty thick for only four languages. Okay. <coughs> you get a box and some packaging material. And a nice little bag that looks like anything uh, any company from China would give you. Okay, a bit nicer. With a belt loop. And, well, whatever. Wrist strap. And a range finder and nothing more. So I'm gonna guess you don't get any batteries, but we'll see. Should I read the manual? How hard can it be, right? Okay, we have a sticker. Please read the manual for meter yard setting. Bitte lesen Sie the blah blah. Okay, I'm not gonna try German. Did I drop something? No. Okay. It's well, if I remember my Lakers correctly, this is some kind of mode change button. This is the range finder button. But anyway, I'm gonna go cut here and uh, go outside and see if I can range something. Hi guys. So I'm on top of a hill close to where I live. I'm gonna try this uh, Range Master 2000B on some uh, non-reflective targets. See if I can do this with one hand holding my GoPro and the other hand using this. Oh, let's not look at the laser. Okay, so. <sighs> not sure if it's visible, but far in the distance there's some white apartment buildings. Let's see if I can get some Lasering done on those. Yep, immediately an answer. 1604 meters away to those white apartment buildings. Way over there, where my finger is. Let's try something regular. So uh, the bushes on the other side are the water. Yeah, no problem with those trees or bushes or whatever it is 949 meters away this is as far as I know ideal conditions because it's overcast let's try something really difficult let's try that high-rise building a hotel in the far from the distance no that's far away. <laughs> That's too far away. That's like three, four kilometers away or something. I would have been very surprised if that worked. So, well, at a bush, almost at a kilometer. Let's see if I can get it something like a kilometer away. Those bushes over there by the water next to the road. Yeah, I got an answer for those bushes as well. 1,423 meters. This bad boy will range anything. Apparently, dark objects are better than light objects. Can, can that be true? Or was it the other way around? It is the other way around. Uh, light objects reflect more, naturally. And if it's overcast, it's better than with direct sunlight. So... Let's see if I can find anything else. So Stockholm is back in this direction. 
Let's try the church. No. Too far away. If it's really far away, you really need to put this on a this kind of tripod or whatever. Because me just holding it <laughs> is not a stable position. But I'm still quite impressed that I managed to laser almost two kilometers at a reflective target. Let's try some reflective targets on white buildings and see how, how far away I can get this. Nope, that's too far away. Try something closer. Okay, <laughs> well that's over two kilometers away what I tried to do. <laughs> that's not gonna work. I managed to get some bushes at 1,318 meters. Let's see if I can get anything closer. No, that's too far away. Okay, I managed to laser bushes or a tree or whatever at 1,753 meters. This thing is awesome. Now we're gonna have to get anything else than this. So, this is the view from up a hill. It's some great views. I usually come here on New Year's Eve and watch the fireworks. And this hill is built on the remains of uh, what's called the Gamla Hagalund, which is a place in the 60s, 1960s. The, we had this beautiful neighborhood with really nice houses, wooden houses and other kind of, kind of houses. It was an unregulated area where, where artists and craftsmen could build whatever they wanted. So it was extremely beautiful, but it was a bit run down in the 1960s. So the socialists deemed it like a slum area, which it wasn't. It was a, like a paradise for beautiful buildings. So they leveled everything and everything that was left over, they made this hill out of. So when you walk around this hill, you can find all bricks and stuff poking up out of the ground. And they built hideous monstrosities of buildings, uh, which is now a real slum area where there's shootings and stabbings and whatever. So that's the way that works. Destroy anything beautiful, build shitty places for people to be miserable in. <sighs> Anyway, this is really nice, so I can highly recommend it. It's uh, fairly expensive, but it will do the job. And it has very nice optics and uh, you can focus it here. It's seven times 24. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, now I have to walk back home. Have a nice day, everyone.